warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everyone. We are from group 6 and today we are going to present our material about speak edge and speak events. Me, Aula Mutmaina Bahtiar and my friends Titin Andriana, Sukma Ilyas and Nurmolani will be present the material from our group. And for the first speaker, we will be explained by Titin Andriana. The second speaker by Sukma Ilyas, the second speaker by Nurmolani, and the last speaker by me. So, here are our material. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Titin Andriana B. So, today I want to explain you about speak act and speak, speak act classification. So, the first is definition of speak act. Speak act is how words are used not only to present information but also to carry out actions. It refers to all the functions performed through speaking or speech and all the things done when spoken. That is, when we speak, we perform acts. This include giving reports, making statements, making promise, and soon. The second is characteristic of speak act. The first is it is expressed by an individual that not only presents information but performs an action as well. For example, I would like the sushi. Could you please pass it to me? The second is the acts are such as apologizing, greeting, requesting, complaining, warning refusing, inviting, congratulating, promising, and ordering. For example, for warning, watch out of the dog. Another example for congratulating, mm, congratulation of your graduation. Okay, the last is it might contain just one word or several words or sentence. For example, Sorry, I'm sorry, I forgot your birthday. Okay, the next is kinds of speak act. There are three kinds of speak act. The first is locutionary act, elocutionary act, and the last is prelocutionary act. Locutionary act is the act of making a meaningful utterance. Elocutionary act is the act of performing an intentional utterance. And the last is prolocutionary act, the act of producing the effect of the meaningful or intentional utterance. For example, thank someone for his or her help with a project. Locutionary act. Thank you so much for help me. Elocutionary act. I don't know what what would I do without you. Prolocutionary act. That someone will know that you respect his or her help. Another example is give a compliment about the clothes someone is wearing. Locutionary act. Wow, your dress is so beautiful. Elocutionary act. Where did you get the dress? I want one. Prolocationary act that someone will realize that her or his dress is nice. Okay, the next is speak X classifications. Surely, 1979 suggests that speak X consists of five general classifications to classify the functions or elocutionary of speak X. These are declarations, commissives, expressives, directives, and representatives. The first is Declaration Speak Act. Declaration Speak Act is the act that makes the propositional content corresponds with the reality. In order to perform a declarations effectively the speaker must have a special contextual uh, privilege that allow him or her to perform and also contextual declarations for example when a pre priest say i pronounce you husband and wife the priest in the context of marriage 
has the privilege to pronounce marriage and when this utterance is performed the man and woman is then changed from singles into married people from the moment on on the contrary if the speaker is not a priest or has the privilege to marry people the utterance will not be effective Okay, the next is Commissive Speak Acts. Commissive Speak Acts are the act of committing the future actions. This type of Speak Acts show the intention of the speaker in the future, which will be made to happen in later moment. One example of Commissive Speak Act is, I will come to your home tonight. This example shows the that the speaker intends to come to the hearer's home at the night time of the day the utterance said. Therefore, the speaker commits that he or she will come to the speaker's home at night. In simple English, the term of this speaker is commonly uh, called a promise. The next is expressive. Expressive are the type of speak act that shows the expression of the speaker via utterance. For example, I'm sorry, I'm like it, thank you, and others. These examples uh, show how the speaker feels about a situation. Other type of speak act is directives. This type speak act aims to make someone else to do something that the speaker uh, desires. For example, could you lend me a pen? This utterance shows that the speaker requests a pen from someone else. Uh, he or she indirectly ordered the other person to lend him a pen this gesture is also available in a more direct way as lend me a pen the intention of this utterance is to make the hearer to perform the action conveyed in the utterance itself uh, directives are also known as asking ordering requesting inviting ad advising and Beijing. Okay, the last type of uh, of speak act is repres representative. In representative speak act, the speaker's intention is to assert the speaker's belief. One example is, "I'm a good guy." The intention of this utterance is to show that the speaker is to make believe the hearer that the speaker is a good guy okay i think that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is sukma ilias and i will explain you about ifits or illusionary force indicating the vice and felicity condition uh, I fit. I fit is an expression from an utterance where there is a slot for the verb to explicitly name the illusionary act being performed. Such a verb, it will, uh, it can call a performative verb. For the example, the sentence I warn you that I will see you later, and the sentence I promise you that I will see you later. From those two sentences, we can learn that the the word warn and promise it will be a performative verb and if it's stated it clearly have an i fit and on i fit speakers do not always uh, perform their their egg, uh, their speak act so explicitly but uh, sometimes they describe their uh, the speak act being performed as you can see on the slide uh, the man say, can I talk to Mary? The girl answered, no, she is not here. And the man say, I'm asking you, can I talk to her? And the girl answered, and I'm telling you, she is not here. On this scenario, each speaker has described and drawn 
attention of their uh, utterance illusionary by um, tail and us. Well, we move to the next materials. Uh, it's felicity condition. Felicity condition are the expected or, or appropriate circumstance for performance of speak act to be recognized or intended. Uh, there are some uh, preconditions on speak act in everyday context. Uh, the first one is general condition on the participant on the participants for example uh, to understand the language being used and the second is content condition for example uh, for promising the content must uh, must about future event and the last is preparatory condition there are two uh, for example in promising there are two preparatory conditions uh, the first one is uh, the event uh, might not happen by itself and the second is the event will have a benefit effect okay well uh, thank you very much for your attention assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so the next material will explain by me which is the performative hypothesis so the performative hypothesis is a speech act that is performed via utterance to assume that underlying every utterance there is a clause containing a performative verb uh, which makes the illocutionary force explicit i hereby vp or verb performative that you or utterance so in this clause the subject must be first person singular followed by the adverb of herabai indicating that the utterance count as an action by being uttered the next material is explicit and implicit performative explicit performatives is a performative utterance that contain a performative verb that makes explicit what kind of act is being performed. For example, I promise to come to your talk tomorrow morning. So the next material is implicit performative. So implicit performative is a performative utterance uh, in which there is no such verb. Uh, for example, I'll come to your talk tomorrow morning. So the next is I will explain about the extended performative hypothesis uh, that the illocutionary force not only of a direct speech act but also of an indirect speech act act be uh, appropriately uh, formalized in a performative deep structure. So in all significant respects, the person account is completely at odd with the extended performative, hypo performative hypothesis uh, for the first is the hypothesis implies that indirect force can be adequately represented by perform performative verb so for the second is it treats the distinction uh, between direct and indirect force as simply an all or nothing matter so for the third is uh, no attempt is made to give a functional motivation for the re uh, relation between sense and force. Uh, for the extended performative hypothesis, it is just an arbitrary uh, fact or uh, of grammar that that a request can be rendered by means of a can you question, uh, but no saying means. Uh, of shall I question so for the fourth is the relation between the direct and indirect force of an utterance as an information question and as a request for action uh, is seen as a grammatical ambiguity rather than as a matter of two coexistent meanings one being conveyed by fear two of the other so, Leitch argues that the extended performative hypothesis fails to account for fairly obvious and commonplace observation about how linguistic 
linguistic communication works. So, the last material about direct, indirect speech edge and speak events. Direct speak edge when there is a direct relationship between the structure and the communicative function of the utrans. The function of direct speak edge is when it is used to make a statement as a paraphrase. For example, the art tree for this uh, we use the statement like direct creative is used to make a statement for example you wear a seatbelt in interrogative is used to ask a question like do you wear a seatbelt and the last is imperative is used to make a comment like wear a seatbelt indirect speak edge is performed by means of another that means that there is an indirect relationship between the form and the function of the utrans. The function it in, in of indirect speak edge is when it is used to make a comment or request as paraphrase. For example, there are interrogative and direct creative. Interrogative is used to make a request like could you pass the cell and direct creative is used to make a request. Example you are standing in front of the TV. Speak events. Speak events is which participant interact via language in some conventional way to arrive some outcome. It might include an obvious central speak edge, but it will also include other utterance leading up to and subsequently reacting to the central action. Okay, I think it's enough from our material, our group. So Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.